Right, hello everybody, welcome to uh, game number 10 of <laughs> of uh, Rebel, a replay. Uh, this had to be replayed because my microphone was terrible at the time. So we're just doing a replay uh, up against Freddie Gibbs and his Orcs. Um, orcs, of course, the stereotypical, they destroy chaos at low TV and get destroyed at high TV. It's not that simple though, because obviously, you know, Orcs tend to just have a lot of guard and mighty blow. So if your claw pom doesn't break them, they, they can still break you. And there's not that much difference between pomming armor 8 than, than there is pomming armor 7. The only thing is, of course, if the Orcs get men down, they don't have agility or any or movement or anything, and they just they just get demolished. Um, that is the problem. He has got, also got a lot of TV in, in, a, in a thrower there. Um, I forget what the inducements are, to be honest. Uh, oh, you got an extra apple and a bribe and he's got the magic dome stadium which i never really use on any team just because i think it looks rubbish that's the main reason i don't use it but i think it's a fine stadium enhancement to use so i have to stay zoomed in so they don't have this horrible blue tinge i hate it you can go high above so you don't get the blue tinge but normally you're in this zone where it's on which i don't really enjoy So, I don't want to hurt Derp here, because he does have a lot of strength and stand firm and guard and everything. I don't want to hurt Derp base, base, base. Don't even want to claw pom here, because he's got the bribe right, so just hit with a hit with a claw. And kill the guy. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. A nice bit of claw mighty blow action there. So put these guys in to all try and protect each other. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Just like they are slow, so if you can get in the way, that that's often good enough. Anyways, now I'm not going to try and generate a ton of core mighty hits instantly. Just try and chip away. And then he, he does the basing here. He bases flat far, which is uh, rather brave. I think three people basing him is fine because it means he can't really get a hit, can he? Not very well, at least. This guy can't really get a, a good hit in. But uh, I don't really like, well, <laughs> from his point of view. Oh, I, I forgot to. Alright, because if he received it, he should have the ball. It should be watching from his point of view. So yeah, I didn't really like that he uh, that he gave up a hit here for nothing in terms of. Well, I liked it, <laughs> but I don't think it was a it was a great play. You know, as as you should be trying to minimise the claw bomb hits as much as possible, in my opinion. <laughs> There's not like a huge benefit to occupying the block here, is there? He just basically gives up a free hit on him. Not dead though. Is that something? To put the claw on him so he can't stand up, probably. Oh no, I'm, go I'm going a bit basing here. Oh, this is aggressive. Very aggressive. And GFI to hit the good player. Yeah. That makes sense. Oh. Very sad to not, to not kill him there. I'm going to do a dirty one dice here. Looks like it, doesn't it? Looks like we're going to have a dirty one dice. Oh, disgusting. Disgusting. He's even stand firm, so the push was nothing. Just a cheeky five plus. Oh, that's fair. That's fair that he stuns him in, <laughs> in response. 
Oh no, don't call me Kev. <laughs> so that's a bit sad, isn't it? The claw pom him and then he, he instantly answers back with a Kaz. I was I was a bit sad about that, to tell you the truth. You know, he exposed he exposed this guy to a claw pom hit. His best player, essentially. Isn't it? Strength four. <laughs> Mighty blow, tackle, guard, stand firm, incredible player. And you let me claw pom him. And then, uh, nothing. So because there's no guards, I can't hit him with claw palm, sadly. Reroll though, get the, get the knockdown. And do nothing to him again. <laughs> Yes, because he's got guard, otherwise I could have blitzed with a claw palm, but uh with him having guard I couldn't. We well, didn't stand firm there. He could have blocked him and served him, couldn't we, potentially? But you know, this this is the problem, isn't it, that people have is that this my team is so strong that it, it gets hard for people to um to like do anything really. Even though his team is strong and has plenty of guard. And he's out bashing me here so far, actually. I made two cars. Made two cars to one. But this is a huge both down. Maybe he should have rerolled that. And then a one day both down. <laughs> and then a both down with him. So now he's in a world of hurt because this is a pretty easy hit on the ball. Can't re can't pile on because I need the assist to hit him. Oh, and there's the Kaz. Glorious. Glorious Kaz. I guess I should pile so I don't get hit by a troll. Nothing. Hit the ball with tackle. Glorious. Also, this sets up the surf as well. Bit of a sad scatter there, but never mind. Didn't even didn't even base the troll. I could have based the troll there, taken out the play, couldn't I? For a turn. That's where I think it would kind of be all right to give up a hit on a like to give up a mighty blow hit to to control somebody. But uh, didn't. <laughs> Yeah, maybe that was. Maybe I should have uh, tagged him. I don't know. Hey, Mr. Throw. Tackle, tackle, doing something. I have thought of that. Yeah, tell me. It's something I wouldn't mind doing in future. <laughs> yeah, I thought it might have been that. <laughs> so I'm guess I'm gonna blitz this guy to get the uh to get the scatter. Nope. I'm gonna blitz this guy to get a scatter, not realising he's got stand firm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a classic gym player there. Blitz the blitz the stand firm guy for a for a scatter. So a bit of a bit of a misplay there. Um, and no recovery this turn. It's a bit sad, isn't it? 
It did allow me to pile on, but I think I probably should have blitzed this guy for a scatter and get the ball. I mean, I guess there's three turns. There's still enough time. And again, you know, I'd already made the playoffs at this stage, 9-0. and So um, it's not like the result matters too much. So I guess that's why I went for the, the bomb hit. That's probably why I went for the bomb hit on his mighty blow guy. <laughs> Blood Bowl. Glorious, thank you very much, Wolf Horde, for staying fantastic for a human pregnancy minus a beaver pregnancy. <laughs> Absolutely glorious, thank you very much. <laughs> the great artist, Wolf Horde, thank you very much. I need to get back on the art, 100%. Um, funnily enough, there's a. Uh, yeah, I can cook, yeah. Funnily enough, Fumble um, want a star player drawing, so I'm gonna I was gonna draw a couple of star players for Fumble potentially. So that'd be good, wouldn't it? Get the pal and the pile. Oh boo, don't get the pile. <laughs> the scat is here. Still in two tackle zones. But blitzing him to free him up. I like that. Oh, baby. Another death. <laughs> Just go for the cheeky 5 plus, why not? And then the cheeky 3 plus. <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting behaviour. <laughs> but I mean, might as well, right? There's nothing to lose from going for it. It's not like it can scatter anywhere horrendous or anything. He does a one and gets the pal. Oh, thank you very much. And he's going for the foul to get his player safe, I think. <laughs> Four plus really stupid. It's bang down. So he's just gonna run away. I might try for a handoff to a warrior here, might not. Looks like it. Looks like we're trying to get a warrior score. So I'm gonna do all the blocks first. Which, you know, isn't isn't great blood ball, is it? It's not uh, it's not technically <laughs> good to do it this way. But um, yeah, again, I don't really care about the results so much, so... <laughs> Try and hurt things is good. Trying to improve his team, really, by uh, killing his Mr. Throw here. Last thing anybody should want is an Orc Thrower, so I'm trying to do him a favour. I thought, you know, I felt bad about killing his players. Killed his, uh, killed a Blitzer and a Black Orc, so I thought if I kill, if I kill his Thrower, that's, uh, that's going to be really nice, isn't it, actually? Give the ball to Warrior. Glorious. <laughs> oh, Dr. Mabasco. So, yeah. There you go. That was... Uh... <laughs> that was alright, wasn't it? Try, try to do him a solid there. <laughs> he gets the... Get some of the fouling. He does have a bribe, so these aren't like crazy fouls. It's absolutely fair to, to foul there with a bribe, isn't it? He wasn't going to stop this touchdown or anything. Very sad to not hurt him. Could I have made it three dice? Maybe, actually. One, two, three. He could have gone in. I think I could have made that three dice. So a bit of a misplay there. Should have made that three dice. But Sector's Bone gets his tuddy. And 1 0 after the off drive is obviously pretty fantastic. Made a bunch of removals. You know, taking some removals as well. But now he's on what? Seven, eight players. <laughs> and he just hasn't even bothered to set up, he's just left them as they were. <laughs> so he's properly given up at this point. <laughs> He's properly given up as he just didn't even move his players. 
Um, <laughs> he's left his old throw on the LOS. This, you know, his clot, his mighty blow juggernaut guy, frenzy here, you know, so he's left. He's just completely uncaring at this point. Um, so, no doubt he's going to get a blitz or a perfect defense or something. No, he didn't. Unbelievable. And at this point, because he's given up, I'm thinking, stupidly, I'm thinking, I want to go for a 3 0. Whereas, really, hello, Cornite, what I really should have thought was, let's go for a 1 0 win <laughs> and not, not get punched, because that's the only thing that matters, isn't it? Is not having players die. So, realistically, um, I probably shouldn't have gone. For an early score here. Les mains sont déjà très semblables à des marteaux, Bob. All right, well, thanks, Cole, mate. <laughs> uh, there's another Kaz. Poor guy in the LOS, though. <laughs> and this guy is in danger of getting surfed. Um, yeah, you know, I, I, that, he's probably given up, hasn't he? Like, that's the thing. He's he's set up like this. He's probably given up. So I'm thinking, let's go for the three 0 But realistically, I probably shouldn't have. Probably should have just tried to look after my players. <laughs> just because he's, you know, just because he can foul every turn, can't he? he? Can knock somebody over and foul them every turn. with Mighty Blow. No, he doesn't. He's, his only Mighty Blow left is the Troll now, actually. So not so scared of the Mighty Blow. But, you know, like, at least at least win 2-0. Don't give him a chance to get this guy back and this guy back and actually get Mighty Blow hits on us. And there, if you powered him there, he's got a three assist... He's got a two assist foul on a, on a Warrior, hasn't he? If he rolled a power there, which is just... Really careless to leave that kind of stuff on. And there's a kill. <laughs> and I appo that. So now that I've appo that, I have to not score now, right? I have to just, I have to just prevent hits. <laughs> have to prevent hits. And there's the no assist foul set off. <laughs> <laughs> bribe fail. <laughs> oh, didn't you not? You didn't even use the bribe. You didn't even use the bribe. Huge Kaz. That's his last mighty blow gun. No, oh, he appalled that. <laughs> the cast. Oh, minus strength on that guy. Surely he should have. Oh no, he's already minus movement on him. So yeah, this is a horrible, horrible game for him, isn't he? He's been minus strength. He's had two players die. Another guy's been minus strength somewhere. I think. So yeah, there's another cast. <laughs> now he's got two players left in the pitch. So, so I go for the three nil. But you know, I've used my apple. I really shouldn't have gone for the three nil. I really shouldn't have gone for the three nil. I totally should have just you know, knocked these players over. And just win one nil even, honestly. Maybe maybe get it on a warrior, I guess. But um That was a that was a crazy turn, wasn't it? And all brutal Kaz as well. Really unlucky game for him. Cause like on another day he could have taken six Kaz and they could have all been badly hurt, couldn't they? Done that quite a few times. But um <laughs> Thing to do in the podcast, honestly, the Death Zone podcast. <laughs> Though Death Zone's probably a probably a trademark, isn't it? So probably can't call it the Death Zone podcast. As much as Fault Force would like to call it the, the Death Zone podcast. So we're gonna throw it to him. Yeah. Brilliant. 
brilliant pass there. And I mean, it is to level the warrior, so yeah, I guess I should have just scored at the end of the game. You know, I should have I should have gone for the two 0 rather than trying to go for a three 0 Realistically. <laughs> Going for the uphill three dice. <laughs> I if it's two words, then that's not copyrighted, I guess. GFI, GFI. So I go for the three nil here. Death bone. That's pretty good. So yeah, I, I went for the three nil, which really. Really shouldn't have done. <laughs> and I realised the error of my ways as soon as I'd scored it. <laughs> because now all of a sudden, he's got two mighty blow players that he's going to be hitting with every turn. Three mighty blow players even. He's got three mighty blow players that he can hurt me with. And I'm like, why have I done that? You know? That's, that's five, six, seven mighty blow hits minimum without an apple, so that really, really shouldn't have gone for the three now. So I think I probably just retreated <laughs> and let him score here. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? There's a kill. <laughs> KO, that's crazy, isn't it? Three removals, boom. And for some reason, I let him blitz this guy rather than. Uh... Well, I guess Mr. Throw is better, isn't he? He hasn't got tackle, but he hasn't got the move bust either. So go for the frenzy hit to guarantee the knockdown. Oh, and also to push him into him for an additional hit on, on four pushes. That was quite nice. That was a nice play, wasn't it? That was a rather nice play by me. Does he, J5? Oh, link me up, please. So yeah, I think I kind of yeah, looking like I'm running away a bit. Oh man, <laughs> rebel wiki. <laughs> That's fantastic, flap flap. <laughs> Hey, you know, he's fouling, he's fouling that claw pommer and I'm like, oh man, I'm such an idiot. Such an idiot for scoring early. Such an absolute idiot. Any of these rolls could have killed anybody, couldn't they? Just horrible. He's away, he's on one. He's on one with the edge guy. <laughs> Mr. Throw's ready to make a long pass. I think the idea of blitzing him was he's strength 4, whereas he's only strength 3, so he can't really get a hit in very easily, can he? So try to knock him down and uh, get the strong guys under control so he can't hit back. I think that's what the idea was. Get the guard in and the strength 4s on him to get him under control. The old controlling people by removing them being the best way to control players. Ça, 
So he goes for the he goes for the epic long throw and succeeds and scores. <laughs> Sexy old cheerleaders, old baby. <laughs> so yeah, you know, I'm, I was really dumb with me at score. Do you have a chance to two turn here? I had strong arm and accurate, so it it, it was like a it was a four plus with pass. <laughs> well, he hasn't really tried to stop us here, so it could go for the. Uh, and got an extra reroll. Four rerolls here to try for a two turn touchdown. <laughs> Flat fart with another cast. <laughs> oh, Sector's bones, he's got the same. No, he doesn't. Flat fart, yeah, that's what flat fart looks like. I don't even know what my own players look like. What do So three dice on him. Maybe I don't even try to score now because then they can't hit me. <laughs> Yeah, just make sure he can't hit me. Don't even try for the touchdown. <laughs> Learnt my lesson in the end. Don't even want to put anyone in blitz range. Nice little pass. <laughs> running the end zone. Quelle transmission efficace entre ces deux joueurs très complémentaires? Sixty was probably my first season twenty five. So oh, some nice little uh, SPP farming there. And <laughs> he just runs around. And that's it. So yeah, you know, I really messed up there going for the 3-0. I should have just taken the 2-0. But all credit to him for getting the tuddy. You know, I didn't let him score, he, he did it. He did it with uh with some some players, didn't he? But yeah, I really should have I really should have gone for the 2-0. Silly play when the apple's gone. Uh, but yeah, loads of AV breaks, loads of cars. But loads of blocks as well, you know, 49 blocks is... You can't let a Chaos team make 49 blocks and expect to not get your team killed, really. <laughs> so yeah, eight cars. Unbelievable, Jeff. So there you go. And with that win, 10-0, uh, that, that guarantees us winning the division. So, um... So that is, I'm sure that must be a record as well in Rebel. Winning the uh, winning the first division with three games left to play is pretty crazy. I'm pretty sure that must be a must be a record. I don't know it is, but I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> so there you go, ten and zero champions. Just got to try and win the last three to um, to get a perfect season, really, or at least don't lose any. Right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.